If you watched yesterday's video, this is a continuation from that. We are here at Starbucks and we're about to head over to Manhattan and we're going to go up to Hudson Yards and experience the new look over that they have there. Give us a beautiful view, hopefully at sunset of New York City. We just made it out of the subway and now we are here. We are. We literally are exactly the same place we were last night. Now we are heading out to the Hudson Yards. They've just opened a new thing there which is called Edge and there's a, it's 1100 feet above the ground I believe and we get a really awesome view of New York. So we got the express tickets to go and see that which means we don't have to wait in a line and it's going to be sunset soon so it's going to be beautiful. So yeah we're just going to wander on through the streets of New York. We've got a 20 minute walk because we thought why not walk around and embrace it and enjoy it. We are at Madison Square Gardens. We're just going to try and find a restroom real quick. They also built the Sphere, which is in Las Vegas, for $3.2 billion. They went over budget by $2.1 billion, but you know, that's okay. We're hungry and we need to pee, so we decided we're going to go to Smash Burger. I don't think we've had it before. Sunsets at 7 p.m. So we have to eat this and get moving because I want to be what up there for sunset. It? Can I get the double avocado bacon club? A double avocado bacon club, my favorite. It is? It is. Okay, well, good. Can I get the Reese's peanut butter shake as well? I'm going to ask you the most difficult question. Is uh -oh. that your favorite too? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you want it with whipped cream or without? With. with, of course. No, hey, we got to watch our diet. Okay. Summer body. <laughs> get gym later. I know, yeah. <laughs> Need to work out now. All right, I got my Reese's shake. Mmm, it's, it's good. good. Dan likes peanut butter a lot. I knew this would be half gone if it came before, and it is. I needed this. I needed something to satisfy my hunger and thirst after the polar punch that we did. I would wait for you, but I'm hungry. Have you guys ever had Smash Burger? If you have, let me know in the comments. We're gonna head on over to Hudson Yards. We've got 20 minutes and it's sunset is in an hour and 10 minutes. So we're gonna make it in time for sunset. We'll make it. Yeah, we'll be just fine. It picks you up when I'm this close to you. It picks you up when I'm this close to you. Does it? It's funny that you can't hear me, but they can hear me just fine. What's <laughs> your accent? We've been married for four and a half years. I don't think you can use the accent as a uh, excuse in our way. So just up here, we're walking towards it. You can see the edge looking over. We're gonna be up there in like 20 minutes. If we walk fast. If we walk fast. It's kind of scary looking, oh my God. It looks like it's gonna be nice with the sun and everything as well. Like I say, it's sunset, so it's gonna be great. So one of the craziest things about New York that I am feeling while I'm here is just how much there is to see and like what is like everywhere. Being like into photography and stuff now, I like kind of want my camera so I can just photograph everything. But I feel like I would literally spend the whole day and not even move a block because there's so much that's so cool that I just want to photograph. And I guess that comes with the environment of being in somewhere new and exciting and different. And I feel like every block is something new, different and exciting. So yeah, I could definitely spend some time here just walking around, photographing everything. Don't even know what I would do with those photos, but it would be super cool to do. It's such a cool experience. And uh, yeah, it would be super fun. You don't need to know what you'll do with them. No. Just to enjoy doing just it. Just enjoy doing it, that's it. And then you'll figure out what to do with them later. New York is like crazy busy, yet I feel that it's easier to like hold a camera out here than in Vegas. I feel like in Vegas everyone kind of stares at you and 
stuff, but New York, nobody really gives a shit. So it's kind of cool. Uh, it's definitely a confidence builder being in New York as opposed to Vegas for some reason. Good. I'm glad you're getting more confident. Yes. Good. For today. Maybe tomorrow I'll wake up and not feel that way. I did not think that was your hand, man. I thought that was someone punching me. <laughs> Freaked out. I was like, ah, <laughs> spoke too soon. I just noticed that on the bottom of the edge there is a glass bottom so you can look all the way down at us and see us as little ants. I did that at the Grand Canyon and that was petrifying. So this is going to be equally as scary. Uh, if I can manage to muster up the courage, I will show you guys how it feels up there and show you guys us as little ants down here walking around and see how small the cars are and stuff. So one of the cool things was that this was like 20 minute walk away, but we didn't even need to use maps to get here because if you can see it so easily from the street. So we just walk in that general direction and we've like figured out how to get here without even needing Google Maps, which is so weird because normally you need maps to get everywhere. Now there is a line apparently to get in there. But we have the express pass, so we're just going to go up and talk to him and see if we can just get let straight on up. Thank you. We're going through secret passages. Alrighty, so we're getting ready to go into the elevator right now. We got the express wristband, which means that we didn't have to wait in any lines or anything like that. We're about to head on up to the edge. I don't know why I do things like this when I'm so scared of heights, but I already did a polar plunge today, which was conquering one of my things. So now I'm going to do part two of conquering fears today. Holy shit. This is crazy. We are so high. I did not expect this, guys. This is insane. Oh my god, you guys have to see this. This is crazy. This place is crazy. I'm so glad we came right now because the sun is setting, so the light on everything is going to be so nice. And we get to look out and watch the sunset. We're so high. It's like insane. It's 100 floors high. I think the highest I've ever been is like 74, so never been up this high? I don't think so. A hundred stories. Have you? Yeah. Alrighty guys, I just found the outside deck. Uh, let's go outside and see what it feels like. I bet it's going to be freezing cold because uh, we're so high, but it's covered by glass so we should be safe. Go in the round spinny thing. Oh my god. Wow. We are out 100 stories high. Alrighty guys, so there's this glass floor that's right in the middle of this uh, platform and it goes all the way down like I was saying and I haven't been on it yet but should I go on it? Should I tread on it? Oh my god it's so scary. If I like if I like look here and just like walk on it then I don't have to like think about it so I can show you guys that I'm actually on it. You can see us but I'm not gonna look down. I don't know if I can look down. Can I look down? Oh. Oh, so scary. Makes your balls jump up inside you, it's so scary. You're holding on to me now? <laughs> Dan's like freaking out and holding on to me. Go on Dan, get on there. 
<laughs> so, so scary. It's easy if you don't look, but when you look, that's uh, that's where it's scary. This is insane. It's actually so beautiful. Um, I'm amazed that I'm up here, to be honest, but I actually feel really safe and the viewing deck is not something too scary, so this is really cool, really cool. Look at this, this is the World Trade Center. As I told you, I'm petrified of heights, but being up here, I feel pretty safe, and I'm quite surprised that I'm not freaking out. Um, even if I'm on the other thing, like I thought that would be super scary, but it's not too bad. It's an experience. If you come to New York, this should definitely be one of the things that you do. Definitely. It's so cool. hundred stories up and I see this sign. I don't know if I fancy doing a hundred stories of stairs in the emergency. That would be tough, but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I think the fire is gonna be burning faster than I can get down a hundred flights of stairs. So we waited until the sunset and now we get to come out and experience New York at night. So uh, the good thing about this is once you get up here, uh, there's no time limit on how long you're up here and stuff, so you can uh, spend sunset uh, up here, and then you're able to experience both nighttime and daytime up here, so get the best bang for your buck, except when it's a little bit cooler now. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at New York at night. Alrighty guys, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, up here it is freezing cold. Um, we're gonna head on back to our hotel shortly and then I'm gonna call it a night in New York. Uh, tomorrow we'll wake up, we'll do a couple more things before getting to the airport. But uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps me grow and helps other people find this video. So I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Good night guys.